Good morning, I'm Trish Pahanek and this is Synopsis, your first early morning briefing. Kicking off the work week, today is Monday, December 1st, 2008. Here are today's top stories. Final estimates for the November sweep will be out today and available tomorrow. It's delayed because of the long Thanksgiving holiday weekend, yet the early expectation is ABC will secure its fourth consecutive November sweep among adults 18 to 49 by a small margin. CBS should win among adults 25 to 54 and with total viewers, while NBC will be in third place followed by Fox and the CW. However, all of the broadcast networks are expected to be down an estimated minus 9% in viewership compared to the same period in 2007, due in part to losing viewers to heavy political coverage on the cable networks earlier in November. Bravo surged last Tuesday night as The Real Housewives of Orange County debuted Season 4 at 10 p.m. with 1.37 million adults 18 to 49 viewers and 1.87 million total viewers. The episode drew in 51% more adults 18 to 49 viewers compared to the Season 3 premiere on November 6th of 07 with 1.37 million viewers versus 909,000. And Tuesday's episode was the highest rated Real Housewives franchise season premiere ever with both adults 18 to 49 and total viewers. Bravo also scored big viewer numbers with the Real Housewives of Atlanta Watch What Happens reunion special at 9 p.m., driving in 2.05 million adults 18 to 49 viewers and 2.81 total viewers. There is news of a person of interest in the murder case of KATV Little Rock anchor Ann Presley. Reports indicate the motivation in the killing was murder and that the suspect Curtis Lavelle Vance was not stalking the anchor, reports the New York Times. This is not the first case involving Vance. He's been charged with other violent crimes in a town just a hundred miles outside of Little Rock. Vance is currently in jail, being held without bail, pending trial. Cincinnati's low-power TV station WB... QC-TV has petitioned for new call letters. Fittingly, WKRP in Cincinnati. While there's no Les Nesman, a Johnny Fever, or even a Venus flytrap, the station does exist, and this time as a television station, not a radio station. And that's going to do it. Be sure to check your email for the full printed version of today's synopsis with new executive moves and raw ratings, a few new classified ads, and a few other stories that did not make it into this podcast, and of course tonight's primetime broadcast lineup. This is a Synopsis Media production in association with 311 West. For Cynthia Turner, who wrote and compiled Synopsis in Connecticut, I'm Trish Palahniuk. I'm going to have a good day. Even if I make it myself, I'm going to have a good day. I don't need no one else. I'm going to have a good day. Nothing wrong I could do. I'm going to have a good day. Hope you have a good day, too.